We're at Palm Downtown. There's eight famous graves within this cemetery. So let's go see if we can find them. And away we go. Coming up on a grave of David J. Ledbetter. That's my name, David J. Ledbetter, but spelled differently. I looked this individual up. He dies of tongue cancer. Not lung, but tongue cancer. 1962. Kind of eerie seeing your name, but at least the last name is spelled differently. Here we find Russ Morgan. Russ Morgan was a big band leader during the 30s and 40s. He's best known for being the composer on a hit song by Dean Martin, You're Nobody Until Somebody Loves You. He dies at age 65 right here in Las Vegas. He has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Right here in the same area, we'll have a comedian, Tommy Raft. He was called the funniest man in show business during the 50s and 60s. Best known as a main attraction for many of the Las Vegas casinos and burlesque shows. He also appeared in the feature film, The Wacky Playboy. That came out in 1964. Then while we're at it, there's a uh, fella that opened a Desert Inn, Wilbur Clark. He was a legendary businessman right here in Las Vegas. As I mentioned earlier, he built the Desert Inn and this is in 1947. He would organize an annual golf tournament on the Desert Inn Golf Course for charity. Ironically, for the homeless, as you saw at the beginning of this video, Las Vegas still has a homeless problem. Here he is pictured with Ed Sullivan and Red Skelton. This is Wilbur on the right. As we continue our tour of the downtown Palm Mortuary, we're at the grave of Chick Johnson. Chick was half of a team Olson and Johnson. They were part of a comedy act from the 1930s through the mid 50s. He breaks into show business by being a ragtime pianist. This is where he met his partner, Ole Olson, who was a violinist. They were hired by the same band after the band breaks up, they started doing a comedy act as a team. And buried right next to Chick is his partner, Ole Olson. So cool. Ole dies 1963. I apologize for the shadow. They sign contracts with Warner Brothers and appear in musicals such as Old Sailor Behave. This came out in 1930. Gold Dust Gertie. This was a 1931 musical. And also 50 Million Frenchmen, 1931 is when it came out. Ole had a, a quote he would always say and he's known for, May you live as long as you laugh, and laugh as long as you live. He dies in Albuquerque, New Mexico at age 70 of kidney disease. As we enter the Mausoleum of Eternity, if we can go left down this direction, we'll find uh, the resting place of Jack Kirkwood. Jack was a Scottish-born actor. He is known for playing Charlie Hackett in the television series One Happy Family. This was a sitcom that only ran for five months. 
a newlywed couple moves in with her parents and her grandparents. Jack Kirkwood plays a grandfather in the television series. It ran from January until June 1961. I've checked it out and it sucks. In 1950, he stars in Fancy Pants along with Bob Hope and Lucille Ball. This isn't a bad movie, I'll, I'll just let you check it out. And then down at the opposite end, we'll make our way down there. We'll find another little more actor up here on the left. Wild Bill Elliott. Wild Bill Elliott was a film actor, primarily playing rugged heroes in B Western movies, primarily in the Red Rider series. He was born on a ranch in Missouri, so he grew up riding and roping. He stars in the movie The Law Comes of Texas. This is a movie where he plays a part of an attorney, John Haynes to investigate a gang of outlaws using a law that prevents sheriffs from acting outside their county to escape each raid. John again played by Wild Bill Elliott disguises himself as an outlaw and has plans to bring them down. This movie came out in 1939. And then later in his career he stars in Topeka. This came out in 1953. Wild Bill Elliott plays a good bad guy and is hired to run a crooked element out of town. He is a hard drinking, hard living man. Elliott entertains taking over the town for his own use and for his gang. But at the end, he honors his promise to clean up the town for its decent law abiding citizens. This is a really good movie. Now we're moving over to Bunkers. This is still downtown, about a mile from where we just were. We're at the grave location of Liz Rainey. Liz is an author and an actress. In 1949, she wins Miss Stardust of Arizona. She goes to New York and gets a modeling contract. She appears in the 1977 movie Desperate Living. She writes a tell-all book titled My First 2,000 Men. She claims to have had affairs with Joe DiMaggio, Regis Philbin, Glenn Ford, and Cary Grant in this book. She was also a one-time girlfriend of gangster Mickey Cohen. She serves 27 months in prison for perjury. I have another stop planned. We're going to head over to Woodlawn Cemetery. It was the original Veterans Cemetery here in Las Vegas. Chubby Johnson was a very good supporting character actor. He starts out in life actually as a journalist working right here in Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Sun, which is a newspaper. That's something you read in case you've forgotten. <laughs> he appears in such television series as The Andy Griffith Show, Bonanza, and Gunsmoke, among others. Well, that wraps this one up. I appreciate everyone watching to the end. I believe everybody needs to be remembered.